The Amarillo Police Department is seeing a rise in violent crime. KMR Local 4's Jack Kessler spoke with the department about the increase and what they're doing about it. Corporal Jeb Hilton with the Amarillo Police Department says this year there have been 14 homicides, with 12 of those being from gunfire. He adds this time last year they had 208 cases, and this year they have 241. Actually, the year before that, we were down a little bit, and then it was something where we've just kind of seen a rise every year since. Um, so, uh, you know, we have to deal with that. It's something that we see and we're hearing more. You know, obviously people are, are seeing and hearing it more. We just have to figure out a way to get people to make sure they're calling us when those are happening and for us to, to figure out ways that we can get some of these guns off the streets. Corporal Hilton says this trend of shootings and gun violence increasing is not just happening in Amarillo. It's a national thing where we're seeing it more. It, it's kind of a good and bad it's not just happening here that that's a positive the, the negative is we're seeing more of it just like everybody else is he says they're also seeing more young kids with guns they're trying to figure out how they're getting their hands on them the, these young kids are getting guns we've got people that don't need guns that, that have guns and, and it's something what we're seeing more and more and it's leading to more violence i don't know if it's the stress the economy the you know the different things that all just add up to make this just a bad situation Corporal Hilton adds they're working with local and federal agencies to get these numbers down. We have started working with the NIBIN system that goes through the ATF that helps us collect ballistic evidence and hopefully track down more of these cases and, and get more of them solved. You know, we're seeing our shooting response team is going out. They're doing a lot better work and able to get a lot of these cases put through to the courts quicker. Um, there's a lot of things that we're doing where we're seeing things that are helping. It just hasn't got those numbers going down yet. He says one thing the public can do to help is by making sure their guns are locked up, especially when left in cars to enter a place where they're not allowed or at home where they can be placed in safes. Live in studio, Jack Hesser, KMR Local 4 News. Andy? Jack, thank you. APD also encourages you to reach out to them and report when you hear gunshots.